So in this video, we will be going through and making the player class. But before we do that, I want to go back to the print statements in the last video and change something. So last time I had a print LM statement here, but this needs to be a print statement because it needs to be in the same row. And we need to add a space to space out each of the spaces on the board. And the same thing goes for the board B. But now we can get into the player. So first we need to have, the player needs to have boards to work with. We'll make some boards for the player. And the player also needs to have scanner to have input. So first we need to import scanner. So you as a user can in enter your coordinates and ships. Now we need to set up our default constructor, which will be setting up both of the boards. After that is done, we will set up the player's boards in the method called player setup. And this will facilitate the user by setting up their board using their directions and coordinates. We'll first ask the user, uh, tell the user that it is time to set up the boards. Now this setup code will deal with placing the aircraft. We'll ask them what direction they want to place a ship in. And give all the options. After that, we will capture their input in a char variable so ask them for the x and y coordinates and we'll create a coordinate based on those X and Y components. We'll create a new ship of an aircraft carrier. Well, and we'll make the new ship using the letter, direction. But we also need to make sure that the location is a valid location. So if it is a false, it's going to go through a, a while loop to make sure it is a valid location. We will place the ships onto board and we'll create the board. 
same thing goes for all the other ships. and we'll place the battleship, just like we placed the aircraft carrier. Next up, we will place the submarine onto the board. The same code again. Sink the destroyer. And lastly, the last ship is the patrol boat. And after the patrol boat, the board is set up and we can display a final message. The next method will ask the user for what coordinate they want to attack and making sure it is a valid guess. Typing for the Y coordinate. We want to create our coordinate attack using those components. And we will use a Y loop to make sure that this coordinate attack is a valid location to attack. And after that, we will return the attack coordinate. Next, we will write the method that will facilitate the actual attack attempt on the computer and update all of the boards accordingly. After that, we will write the code to print out the board.
this, we could just copy our board's code that we had earlier to make things easier for us. But making sure to uh, the board parameter. For that, we we will make the method that will verify a player win, and it's gonna check to see if a player has won the game, and it will return true if the player has won, or false if the player has not won. That's the computer parameter. Essentially what this code is doing is that it's checking all of the computers, all of the computer's coordinates wherever it is not empty and all of the coordinates where, uh, all of the coordinates of the user and that needs to have a hit on it because if it is not a hit and it's not empty, that means the user has missed a ship. So this will go through all of the coordinates on the board and make sure that if there's a ship, there is a hit. And lastly, we will make our getters of board A and board B. And we can just take that from our previous class that we made, make our labs easier. Please make sure to And that is our player class done. Don't mind these errors because we will fix those in our next video where we make our computer class. Thank you for watching.